We have new images tonight of this, a murder weapon used in the unsolved Burger Chef murders. Indiana State Police hope that someone recognizes this broken knife blade. They say whoever owned it likely carried it in a sheath, and that sheath has never been found. Forty years after three young workers were killed at the restaurant, investigators now say they're using new technology to re-examine this old cold case. It is one of the most puzzling crimes in Indianapolis history. It is still unsolved now after four decades. Yeah, the case turned cold years ago, and with each passing year, the possibility of solving it seems more remote. November 17, 1978. Four fast food workers disappeared from a restaurant on Crawfordsville Road at closing time. Days later, hikers found their bodies over 20 miles away in a remote part of Johnson County. Well, this area through here was a lot heavier brush. Uh, some larger trees, smaller trees. Former state police investigator Ken York visited the site with Eyewitness News 15 years ago. He retired before solving the crime but he believes that somewhere between two to four people did it. Because there was just no physical evidence. It would have been purely circumstantial. At first, police did not process the restaurant as a crime scene because they just thought the empty store was odd. But after the bodies were found, the main theory became that it was a robbery gone bad. Maybe one of the people killed recognized one of the robbers. Former state police detective Bill Van later carried the case for nearly 20 years. We know that there was a firearm used. Uh, that was never found. We know there was a knife used that's handle was never found. And we know that one individual was beaten probably with some type of chain that's also out there. Witnesses saw two people near the restaurant the night of the crime, and police had composite sketches made. A man with a beard, and another described as a fair-haired man. They even had 3D bus made, but never an arrest. And over the years, the search for the killers has overshadowed those who were killed. So I want to show you their pictures tonight. 20-year-old Jane Freed and teenagers Ruth Ellen Shelton, Daniel Davis, and Mark Flemons. All of them would be between 56 and 60 years old today. So it's been 40 years. A lot of investigators have lived with this story since that time. And reporters, too, including our Rich Van Wyck, who was a young reporter on the day that this happened. And at first, it wasn't even apparent it was a crime. First word we had was the immediate theory was that these young workers grabbed the money, ran, went out for a good time. They picked up what evidence was there, coats, gloves, what have you. The manager was cleaning the place up. Saturday morning when we went out there, we got the first pictures of that Burger Chef restaurant. And as the manager's cleaning up, he's taking away some valuable evidence. Police had no idea how much evidence was lost. In fact, when state police took over the investigation, they saw crime scene photographs. They said, there's something wrong here. It turns out they were staged. The original investigative agency had gone back, put the coats and gloves back where they were supposed to be, and took new crime scene photos. And, and even despite that, they did have some theories over the years, but never enough to make a case. Uh, they had many witnesses, or rather many suspects, I'm told, but never had enough evidence for an arrest. Uh, we went out and they saw those busts that had made up by people who gave accurate descriptions of men they put together the, the pictures. They put together busts of those men. They were seen near the restaurant prior to the robbery. And, and these 3D busts, very unusual that you would do that in any case. State police, when they took over the investigation, it certainly appeared were taking extraordinary measures, needing no stone unturned, trying to come up with the evidence they needed to make arrests. They did some things that we had never done, seen done before in investigations at that time. All right. Thank you, Rich, for your perspective.